Hey guys, good evening. Uh, welcome to Astra. That is today's 24th January 2023. We are going to quickly discuss about what are the important aspects that we have in the Hindu for today. Uh, we'll look at uh, the prelims component as well as some mains component. There is not much relevance except seven or eight news in the Hindu today. Let's quickly deal with those things which are very important for this prelims 2023 from the Hindu of 24th January 2023. What exactly is this uh, uh, news today that we have? That is something called Lipart's Dark Sky Reserve is in news that you can see here. Green Bonds is in news. Basic Structure Doctrine, NATO members, Scorpion class submarines, and Unicorn startups. These are the things that we have uh, in the Hindu today. Let's quickly uh, deal with these aspects. Right, the front page from the last three days uh, it is uh, Mahindra's advertisement. If you look at that advertisement, that is somewhat enlightening. So if you are interested, have a look at that uh, way in which they have given. Uh, I think you'll enjoy reading that uh, uh, lines of Mahindra. Right. So something uh, good news coming from this that is called Mary from Lit Panel to progress restless charges. Now, what is this? Recently, there has been huge allegations that is done. Huge allegations that was done. And the so-called uh, WFI, Wrestlers Federation of India President Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh, that uh, some sexual misconduct has happened in this federation. As a result, six-member appointment committee has been a six-member committee has been uh, launched by uh, Union Cabinet in order to look into these charges. So this was led by Mericom. Not uh, except this can be used in ethics answer writing. Except that. Uh, you cannot uh, have much relevance in this. So, apart from that, uh, directly let's go to some news from Karnataka. Karnataka to get Leopard Rehabilitation Centers. Now, it is something which you can use. The current practice of translocating Leopards from conflict areas in vogue since May, many years will be disbanded in due course as Karnataka is to establish rehabilitation centers to house leopards and tigers captured from the conflict zones. Now what it happens whenever there are some leopards or uh, something like tigers which are captured they used to rehabilitate it. Now rather than that they are going to establish rehabilitation centers in the same state. In this context we have to study the context of this rehabilitation centers guys very important. So let's study about that uh, uh, things about leopards. Right, this is about leopards, guys. So, if you look at leopards, in 2017, the estimated population of leopards was nearly 8,000. It was increased to 12,852. This is something which is relevant. Uh, you have to understand that the largest number of leopards are present in Madhya Pradesh, followed by Karnataka, followed by Maharashtra. This is also important. Now, regional wise distribution. They are present in the central India, eastern Ghats, western Ghats, Shivaliks and Gangetic Plains, northeastern hills. Right? Uh, their habitat area is shrink, shrinking alarmingly. As a result, uh, these are conserved. Right? Threat to leopard is this. So, conservation status, this is vulnerable. This is important, guys. I use TN status is vulnerable. As per sites, it is in Appendix 1. Appendix 1 species are the most endangered species. Sites 2 lists animals and plants. Under the Wildlife Protection Act, there is Schedule 1 species or species. So these are the things that you have as far as uh, this Wildlife Institute of India is considered or leopards is considered. So this is uh, something. So vulnerable status and the population, uh, you have to look at it. Apart from that, nothing is important. Show of strength, something is happening here in the so-called Bay of Bengal. The armed forces participate in the largest biannual tribe services amphibious exercise known as ampex so this is ampex is bi biannual so every year they are celebrating two times here tri services so this is indian army indian navy and indian forces participating uh, in this so remember ampex is in use in this context apart from that uh, in the editorial there is no great news as such if you are interested you can read this article democracy and its structural slippages now how democracy has evolved over a period of time and how it has uh, structured or how it has slipped over a period of time 
Apart from that, nothing more is important as far as uh, in the today's newspaper is considered. But uh, there is one more news coming from startups for Indian startups. The pace of funding ladder quickens. Now here, what you have to understand is there is one recent uh, article that is what drives startups fundraising in India. This article is released by or this report is released by RBI. This is important. What drives startups funding rising in India? As of today, you have almost 90,000 startups in the country. They are registered by DPIAT Ministry of Commerce. India is the third largest startup ecosystem in the world, and startups are those whose tenure is less than 10 years, who has been incorporated less than 10 years, and which has turnover that doesn't exceed 100 crores. So less than 100 crores, and time period less than 10 years is known as startups. And we have some unicorns. Unicorns is about 107 unicorns are present. What are unicorn startups? Unicorn startups are private companies with a valuation over 1 billion dollars. These are the things that are there in this. So unicorn, you have more than 100. That is important. What is unicorn club? It is a startup with more than 1 billion dollar capacity or fund. Now, apart from that, nothing is important, guys. Here, BSF Camel contingent to have women personnel for the first time in the Republic Day Parade. This is something which is interesting. We can write in women issues, we can write in equality, you can write this in essay writing, you can write in ethics. So these are the things where you can use it. Four day over dozens fall ill uh, in fresh huge tragedy in Bihar. This is something which is happening in Bihar. Article 47 of Indian constitution says that the state shall secure the lives and nutrition and standard of living of the people and it can prohibit, uh, the state shall prohibit uh, intoxicating drinks except for women consent, except for uh, medical purposes. So in this context, uh, directive principles of state policy article 47 is important and uh, here you can also write this as example of uh, some essay writing. Now uh, after this INS Bagheer, 5th Scorpion Submarine Commission. So what is this 5th Scorpion Submarines? In order to understand this, you have to understand what exactly are these submarines under project 75 which is designed to construct the submarines in India. Now what is this project 75 we are going to look at it before that what is scorpion class submarines submarines is in the project 75 scorpion class are powered by diesel electric propulsion system not uh, many people think that this is a nuclear powered uh, propulsion system this is not nuclear powered this is diesel electric powered scorpion is one of the most sophisticated submarines capable of undertaking multifarious missions including anti-surface ship warfare anti-submarines you don't ask into this depth so uh, now what exactly that we have to study is scorpion class submarines are teaser electric propulsion systems now there are six things uh, that is very important to study here or project 75 is important project 75 under this project 75 we are building two indigenous submarines and that is called uh, INS Kandari, INS Kalwari, Kanraj, Vela as we commissioned, Vagir is the next one. The next one that we have is Vagshir, and the next one's fifth class submarine is INS Vagir. So this is the thing. So these are the things we are having this. INS Kanderi, Karanj, Vela, Kalwari, Vagir, and the next one is Vagshir. These are the six submarines that were thought to be constructed under Project 75 in the Indian domain. So this is the thing that you have to understand from this context. Apart from this, nothing is relevant. Russia, NATO members, and Russia and NATO member Estonia expel ambassadors amid destroyed ties. Now, this is something which is happening in the context of Russia Ukraine war. So, just remember who are NATO members. So, that is important for your prelims. As now, there are 30 NATO members. Now, if you look at uh, the so called West Europe, almost all the countries are NATO members. What you have to remember is just remember what are not NATO members Russia, Ukraine, we all know this. Now, Belarus is not a NATO member very important Sweden Finland is not a NATO member so remember which are not NATO members Moldova Georgia is not a NATO member Moldova Georgia so Sweden Finland Belarus Moldova Georgia or Russia these are not NATO members remember in that context then you can remember this is statement they will ask only which are the following are NATO members rather than remembering 30 remember which are not a NATO member Next, so Japan Prime Minister Kishida Fumio prioritizes military buildup and reversal of low birth rates. 
So these are the problems that uh, Japan is facing. Now they are thinking to revitalize this programs, right? Prioritize military buildup and reverse the low birth rate. This you can write in international relations. No foreign investment cap on sovereign bonds. Recently, government of India has allowed uh, sovereign green bonds. What are sovereign green bonds? They are just like the bonds, but they are issued for green uh, infrastructure projects like renewable energy. Right, uh, RBI has said that we are going to have unlimited foreign investments from this. There is no cap. That is, FDI in this sector is unlimited. So that is what you have to remember. One sad news: former Asian decathlon champion Sabir passes away. Now, this they might ask in uh, your local exams: Sabir passes away. Sabir is related to which one athlete? Right, he has represented India and he has won Tokyo Olympics. Uh, he has represented the athletics championship in Tokyo. Athletics Championship in Tokyo. So they might ask who is he? Shabir is an all-round athlete. Right, apart from that, the basic structure doctrine of Indian Constitution, a very good article was written saying that what is this basic structure all about? How uh, uh, this doctrine has evolved in the Keshwan and the Bharati case, how it was challenged by various judges. So in the 7 is to 6 judgment, this uh, act was passed. Now what exactly is this basic structure doctrine and how it has made sure that the soul of Indian constitution is safeguarded. So very good article guys, please go through this article, you have to read this article, I am going to make a separate video on this very soon. Now after this there is one more thing called the dark sky reserve is a natural resource and too much light is polluting it. So this might be your uh, GS paper uh, 3 science and technology mains question, they have written what are the disadvantages of uh, this dark sky reserve have a look sorry what are the disadvantages of artificial lightning so what is this dark sky reserve so you have to understand that in that context now what are dark sky reserves dark sky reserves are those places on the earth that has minimum artificial intelligent artificial light interface what does this mean so there will be no natural light in that place you will be having uh, a clear sky and you can look at the sky very very clearly so in order to observe the sky very clearly you have dark sky reserve the first dark sky reserve in india is located in helen that is in ladakh so at a place called Leh ladakh helen so that is the thing that you have to remember guys these are the things that you have for in this uh, today thanks for joining have a great day i'll be making a quick video on this uh, basic structure doctrine and uh, please follow that thank you take care